please do allow me to deliver a message. One very personal message. Between a high street wall and an egg breaks against it, I will always stand on the side of the egg. Yes, no matter how right the wall may be, how wrong the egg, I will be standing with the, with the egg. After receiving a notice of this award, I asked myself whether traveling to Israel at, at a time like this and uh, accepting a literary prize is a proper thing to do. And whether this would create the impression I uh, supported one side in the conflict and that I endorsed the policies of a nation that chose to unleash its overwhelming military power. Neither, of course, do I see my books subjected to a boycott. Finally, however, after careful consideration, I made up my mind to come here. One, one reason for my decision is that all too many people advised me not to do it. <laughs> like many other novelists, I tend to do the exact opposite of what I'm told. Yeah. I chose to come here rather than stay away. I chose to see for myself rather than, rather than not to see. I chose to speak to you rather than to say nothing. So please do allow me to deliver a message, one very personal message. It is something I keep in my mind, always keep in my mind while I'm writing fiction. I have never gone so far as to write it on a, on a piece of paper and paste it to the wall. Rather, it is carved into the wall of my mind. It goes something like this. Between a high solid wall and an egg breaks against it, I will always stand on the side of the egg. Yes, no matter how right the wall may be, how wrong the egg, I will be standing with the, with the egg.